Hello, uh, I'm Heather Kirksey. I am the VP of Community and Ecosystem for LF Networking, um, a networking umbrella within the Linux Foundation. And um, I'm really excited to talk to you today about um, Anuket, which is a new project within LFN formed by the merger of OPNFE and CNTT. Anuket is a new project within LF Networking, and it comes from the merger of two very vibrant and active communities that uh, we've had in open source, uh, the first being CNTT, which started off as a joint task force between the Linux Foundation and the GSMA. The other is OPNFV, which has been around for uh, almost, I believe, six and a half years uh, at this point. And and um, as we uh, really looked at it, CNTT was bringing a lot of things to the table from uh, being very, very operator driven, um, really working on architecture and specification and reference model activities uh, that are typically things that are lacking in open source um, organizations and really brought sort of the idea of being able to document from reference model through architecture to conformance testing from the perspective of getting it down on paper and documenting it. Um, OPNFV is a you know, very well storied and successful project. Uh, was, I believe, probably the first telecom uh, open source project that we had. I was the founding executive director of OPNFV when it launched several years ago. And we have a really great deal of experience and expertise in doing integration. So real life bringing together the components that you need for an NFV platform, um, as well as robust testing on both functional testing and performance testing side, as well as great CICD and just bringing a lot of that software expertise and knowledge. And what we really realized with this was that these were two sides of the same coin. Um, documenting requirements and architectures and conformance requirements and building reference implementations and building test tools and frameworks. So starting uh, mid last year, we embarked on a merger process to form Enuket. Uh, Enuket is the goddess, the Egyptian goddess of the Nile, who oversaw the yearly flooding of the Nile, uh, which could something that could have been destructive, but that really brought something when harnessed a great deal of innovation uh, upon which to build. And that's sort of the the ethos that we have. We want to bring the best of the architecture and specification and reference model work with the best of CICD testing and reference implementation um, execution and really come together to elevate our ecosystem and move it forward so that all of the global operators and end users, both in telecom and other types of end users, can harness 5G and other types of telecom networking services. Um, it's really exciting work. Um, it's really great to be part of building this organization that has a great framework and background, but that also is doing something very new. And so with that, I would love to hand over to my colleague, Walter Kozlowski from Telstra, who is one of the co-chairs of the TSC or Technical Steering Committee of Anuket. Walter, take it away. Thanks Heather for introduction. And my name is Walter. I'm from Telstra Corporation in Australia and one of the co-chairs of uh, TSC for Anukit. I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit about potential collaboration between Etsy and Anukit. And it's not something new. We've been, uh, we based our work from the beginning on uh, Etsy and the model as probably everybody in the industry. And we extended it deep into the infrastructure level. Uh, so currently, you know, uh, with the evolution of technology and the business, the telecom operators must deal with the coexistence of many virtualization and containerization environments, which we are trying to show something in this diagram. And those environments must efficiently share the same hardware pool. Uh, that, that's the, the need of the, for, for the operators. Each of these environments may need to be managed by different domains and administrative domains in a very complex multi-tenant ecosystem. And in this evolution towards hybrid multi-cloud hardware sharing federation model, whatever the name is used, 
We seek alignment with the Etsy work as uh, represented, for instance, in the IFA 029 and 040 uh, documentation. That's why, uh, as represented in this diagram by the yellow bubbles, I think that there are three major areas of future collaboration which I would like to talk about. Uh, so the, the, the area A, uh, which is between the container infrastructure service manager and service instance, uh, that's basically you know, uh, uh, interface between management and runtime environments. And we would like to work with Etsy on standard implementation of this infrastructure related interface. Uh, we want to clarify how to use IFA 029 and 040 for our work on specification level within our model and our container based reference architecture. And finally, to define somehow directions how to implement this interface uh, and do our testing uh, around this. The area B, uh, which is on the right hand side, it's basically within the, the management side uh, of the model. And uh, it's between uh, Etsy CISM and the Veeam uh, component and hardware infrastructure manager, which is a component introduced actually in our Anuket model. Uh, the common normalized interface uh, in this space is extremely important from the hardware management perspective. In uh, common situations when different virtualization solutions use the same hardware pool and vice versa. Uh, this relates uh, to aspects like collecting telemetry, enabling composability of hardware components, secu security across all those layers and other management requirements. Uh, and in this, we are actually working already with other open source initiatives like ODIM, Open Distribution, uh, Open uh, Distributed Inter in, in Infrastructure Management Group, and planning to utilize the MTF uh, Redfish, uh, which seems to be a standard of choice uh, in this space. Because uh, this layer interfaces directly with HCV and CISM, as we said, we need to work together to stay aligned. That seems to be obvious. And uh, last but not least, the abstraction of hardware uh, host interface. This is the big C uh, bubble. And uh, what we think here, we are actually developing specifications and reference implementation around Etsy VLHA interface, which is uh, um, documented here in this diagram. And this interface, in my understanding, was largely left to often proprietary implementations. Uh, we think it's a gap, and we have already started attacking problems around this, like how to abstract hardware acceleration, how to abstract networking, especially secondary networking in Kubernetes. And we have started working on the service function chaining, the load balancing, telemetry, all of in this context of this interface. So those are the topics we are currently working on towards the next Anoket release of the Kali, which we expect to be out in July this year. And uh, I, I see this as a relevant area for the Anoket Etsy collaboration in the near future. Um, you would like to open discussion on these points, uh, but of course we don't exclude other topics that I'm sure they will have present themselves during this collaboration. Uh, at this moment, I stop and I just pass uh, uh, to the second uh, co-chair of, uh, of Anaka TSC, Al Morton um, from at and So um, thank you, Walter. I'm Al Morton, the other Anaka TSC uh, co-chair. I'm uh, also the last uh, of the OPNV uh, uh, technical Steering Committee chairs and, and very proud to have uh, uh, served in that capacity. So I'm here to talk with you about uh, testing and conformance uh, programs in Anikit today. Our, uh, our test framework is uh, based on the key projects of Funk Test, uh, the, the Virtual Network Performance Project, which has been uh, renamed from the Virtual Switch Performance Project. Uh, these are uh, projects that have been around since the very beginning of our uh, work in, uh, um, in OPNFE. And then the uh, sample VNF project, which is uh, also uh, producing a test uh, traffic generator now that's very useful to us and, and contributing to the overall test framework. 
Um, we're hoping that these will all be able to run uh, smoothly in uh, an end user uh, continuous integration tool chain uh, via the cross-testing and cross-testing CI uh, projects. So uh, we have that to, um, have that to uh, integrate all of our, our good tests in a uh, testing suite. Uh, specifically, the Funk Test project started out considering the Etsy uh, NFE use cases, uh, which are in the specification listed there. And um, also the uh, Vine Perf and the uh, Sample VNF project uh, were, were really instrumental in the formation of the Etsy TST uh, benchmarking uh, specification for the NFV infrastructure. And uh, we will uh, continue that interaction as the releases of that uh, specification uh, test 009 continue. Uh, testing uh, covers both the OpenStack and the Kubernetes uh, virtualization layers now. And so that's uh, uh, obviously an area which we've all been expanding in uh, over Funk Test, Vine Test, and, and Sample VNF. Uh, another area of interaction is the uh, barometer uh, telemetry project, which uh, since its inception has uh, been a forming project that uh, interacted very closely with the Etsy test uh, 008 uh, specification on metric specifications for compute and uh, networking and, and uh, storage and, and so forth. So we, uh, we have, have uh, lots of good interactions to point to. Uh, the, you know, the point we've always uh, uh, considered is that open source software development uh, can always make use of a good standard. And, and that has proven true uh, through our experience today. So um, we also have the Anakit Affirmed project within uh, Anakit and the, the governing board and, and the uh, CVC committee. Um, this is the conformance testing process, which will be recreated in uh, this year. Uh, here we're evolving from uh, uh, the current uh, process uh, to incorporate the Anakit aspects, such as uh, the reference conformance and reference implementation work uh, going on in our, uh, uh, in our various work streams. So uh, now off to the future. Uh, we, we can see in our crystal ball much more testing, uh, greater coverage of our testing, and evolution to reflect uh, the user needs. Uh, specifically, we'll be uh, collaborating with uh, the test working group in Etsy on their test 006 uh, specification. Uh, this is on the um, uh, sort of the benchmarking for um, uh, the uh, uh, OpenStack uh, instantiations and, and other areas of uh, life cycle. Um, we, can, we can also see uh, maybe some interactions with the test 007 uh, specification and, and future enhancements of that. Uh, the test uh, 0010 uh, specification, which is uh, compliance on the MANO S APIs and the SOL S APIs 002, 003, and 005, um, we, uh, we, can, we can expect uh, possibly some integration with the Funk Test project. Uh, they're using the um, uh, robot framework, and um, that makes the, uh, uh, you know, sort of the cross implementation and the uh, uh, the other uh, uh, work possible. So in, uh, in test 0013, we will expect to see the um, uh, standardized test description template uh, reviewed and, and uh, also uh, enhanced. And we can expect that the uh, test 12 uh, specification on lifecycle benchmarking will be uh, one of the ones that uh, uh, benefits from our review as well. So um, uh, that's a pretty good wrap up of our testing and performance uh, program. Uh, thanks for the time to speak today, everyone. Thanks, Al, and thanks very much to you as well, Walter. I really appreciate my colleagues who are the co-chairs of Anakit joining me today. Um, you know, we're really excited about the possibilities for collaboration with Etsy. We're really excited about the Anuket project and what it brings to the ecosystem. And we look forward to working together in the future. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.